Aptus, a leading investor in growth markets, recently announced a major pan-African higher education initiative, the Honoris United Universities. We spoke to David Cook, partner at Actus, for more. Well, in total, we've, we've invested uh, around $275 million uh, in the value of, of five different tertiary institutions across the continent. Um, and Actus has done a lot of investing in the education sector. Um, over the last few years, we've put about $500 million into the sector, started in China, uh, more recently have invested in Brazil, and we came up with a dream of creating a, a Pan-Africa uh, collection of, of tertiary institutions in a highly fragmented sector across the continent, and we think it's got fantastic uh, secular growth drivers behind it, uh, and, and having invested in different parts of the emerging markets before, we saw a fantastic opportunity to do so in, across Africa. So how's this likely to work? You're in a number of countries in, on the African mm. continent, maybe you could tell us the countries that you're in, sure. and how's that likely to work? So we started this journey uh, back in 2014. Uh, we invested in a private university in Tunisia. We identified Francophone Africa uh, as a real sort of hub of uh, education, quality education, particularly in Maghreb, North Africa. Uh, subsequently invested in Morocco in two institutions uh, and have recently announced uh, that we are buying the largest um, uh, distance learning business in South Africa. Um, two fantastic businesses called Mancosa and Regent founded by uh, Prof Karodia, uh, and we've invited uh, Prof and his management team to join us on this Pan-Africa journey. Um, so now, what, what are the criteria here? You said there's a fantastic opportunity. Was, has something happened that has uh, encouraged you now to get in? The other danger with these things is that you've got quite a lot of money there. To, what was it? $275, $275 million. Dollars. Yeah. That's um, over, well over a billion rand. Uh, it could spread out very easily and get lost unless you focus it. Well, what we've done is we've, uh, we've identified the growth drivers that, uh, that are playing not just in South Africa, but literally across the continent. Um, we've created what we've called Honoris United Universities. Uh, that's the platform that sits at, uh, at the top of the institutions. Um, and then the founders and owners of these institutions, including the South African businesses, uh, have then rolled out part of their shares into the uh, Topco. So those businesses will continue to run as they have been under their own brands, but under the umbrella of Honoris United Universities. And we think there's great benefit in, in offering um, you know, combined academic programs. Uh, and wouldn't it be great to offer a South African MBA student exposure to uh, Francophone West Africa yeah. and North Africa and, and uh, I mean th this collection of, of, uh, of institutions covers nine, nine countries at the moment, uh, 48 campuses across the continent mm. uh, and about 27,000 uh, students across yeah. there. Is this across all fields in terms of degrees, IT, BCom, all yep. of that? Uh, so Commerce plays a big part of it, um, BComs, MBAs and the like, but also in North Africa we're offering uh, uh, medical degrees as well um, and uh, we hope to be able to cross-pollinate some of these academic programs. There about a hundred different uh, degree and diplomas offered yeah. across these institutions. So that's a lot of money. It's clearly going to make a difference. Mm. Good thing to do, but you ultimately have to also say, how does it help the Actus brand? Sure. How does it fit in with what you do? Sure. Well, look, we think uh, putting capital, uh, there's fantastic growth opportunities behind the education sector, and private in particular. Um, we think the, the businesses and their underlying growth rates can be enhanced by being part of a, a, a large organization uh, that we've created in honor us. Um, but it's a great place to put capital. Um, you know, we are, uh, interestingly, in South Africa, most of these students are in jobs today. Um, but they are paying for them, paying for an education to uplift, to get a better job, to get promotions and the like. So it's a fantastic thing for actors to be associated with. Mm. Um, so you're pumping in 275. So uh, the value right, of the right. businesses that we've created today okay. is, is around 275 million dollars, uh, and we don't have any set allocated amount of capital to, or further capital wow. to put behind this. But if we find like-minded institutions across the continent, we're talking to several. Um, who knows? We keep putting capital behind us. Now, you're interested in it, but it's not your business, uh, tertiary education. So have you got a division or uh, someone who, who keeps an eye on this and looks after it and checks that uh, it's doing what you want it to do? Well, look, the way, the way we organize ourselves as a pan-emerging market private equity investor is around sector themes. Yeah. So we have individuals within our business who dedicate their time to particular so sectors. It is, in fact, part of the business. So it's very much part of a business. Yeah, yeah. Um, we focus on education, 
um, and we have individuals around the world who focus just on that. We focus on consumer stories, financial services, and healthcare. Mm. Um, so with people on the ground in, in uh, North, West, East, and South Africa, uh, likewise across the different di other different uh, parts of the emerging markets, mm. that, that's how we um, assess the opportunities, by being both local, but having the sector, global sector knowledge, by yeah. having invested by sectors previously. What kind of conversations did you have with government? I know you're very much mm. in the private sector, but did you ever have at all, throughout this journey, have talks with uh, the different governments? Uh, one has to in this sector, mm -hmm. being a regulated sector, and of course the sensitivities around education topic and fees must fall and the like in, in South Africa, one can't be blind to the challenges that the, uh, the sector has faced. So yes, we uh, um, both directly as actors, but also through uh, the institutions we invest in, we're in constant engagement with regulators and different aspects of government to, to how we participate as the private sector in, in, in offering quality, affordable, accessible education. That was David Cook, partner at Actus.